Hi viewers, welcome to our channel. In this video we'll show you, how to attach documents, in Tally Prime. As you know, this feature is not available in Tally Prime, by default. So we're going to introduce a useful TDL, to attach documents. This TDL is called Document Management System, or DMS. With the help of this TDL, you can upload accounting documents, like purchase invoices, LPOs, check copies etc., non-accounting documents, like tenancy contracts, license copy, insurance copy etc., employee-related documents, like passport copy, visa copy, Emirates ID etc., and vehicle-related documents, like registration, insurance etc. You can record the expiry dates for these documents if any, while uploading documents. And you can set alerts for the same. So that you will get alerts, well before its expiry. In today's video, we'll show you, how to upload accounting documents, in Tally Prime. Before moving ahead, please hit the subscribe button, and subscribe to our channel, to stay updated on our videos, based on VAT and accounting. Let's get started. As per the FTA mandate, all VAT registrants must keep their accounts and bookkeeping records, for 5 years. So this TDL will help you, to archive your documents, by uploading them, while passing voucher entries. In this way, you can eliminate the chance of missing those documents. It's also helpful at the time of your tax audit, or yearly external audit. You can show these documents to the auditor, without having a hard copy. Our first step is, creating a folder to store the documents. Go to Windows Explorer. Open Programs Files, where Tally Prime is installed. Open Tally Prime folder. Create new folder named Documents. And inside this folder, create another folder named Voucher. We're gonna use this folder, to store the documents. Now let's create, list for voucher documents. From Gateway of Tally. Select Document Management Systems or DMS. Select DMS Configuration. Then select Table for Vouchers Document. Here you have to create, the types of documents, like tax invoices, LPOs, check copies etc. Now, we'll set folder path configuration. Select document management systems. Select DMS configuration. Then select folder path configuration. Go to Windows Explorer, and copy the same file path, where we just created the voucher folder. And paste the same, in the voucher document folder path field, by pressing Ctrl plus V. Once you've done these steps, you can start storing the documents, in the folder named Voucher. And if you want, you can create another folder inside this, for example telephone expenses. Just like this. Depends up on your requirements, you can add, different different folders for each type of expenses. Now let's see how to upload documents, in Purchase Voucher Entry. Press V and press F9 to select purchase voucher. Type the suppler invoice number, and date. Select party name. Select the expense head. Enter the amount. Select VAT. And here you can see, attach documents. You have to select yes, to upload document. And once you select yes, this window will appear, here we have to select, type of document from the list. We'll select tax invoice here, and as you hit a key, the folder path will appear, which we configured. As soon as we tap enter key, the list of files will appear here, and we have to select the appropriate files. Once you're done, select end of list, and hit enter. And save the voucher. Now let's understand, how to see the attached document. Go to the ledger account and open the voucher. 
On your right hand side, you can see the option, show document. Select that, or press, Alt plus X. Select the line, and hit enter key. The attached document will open. Here you can see the document. Now, let's pass a payment voucher entry. Create a folder, and name it check copies. And store the file, in this folder. This file is in PNG format. Now, go to voucher entry. Press F5. Select bank. Select supplier, and amount. In attach document field, select yes. Select the document field, check copies. Copy the folder path, where we stored the file, and paste it here. and then press the backslash key. Hit enter, and you will find the file. Select the file and save the voucher. Let's check the attached document. Go to the supplier ledger account. Select the voucher, and press show document. Then hit enter to see the attached document. Next, move on to pass a sales voucher entry. We'll attach, LPO now, in BMP format. Create a folder, and name it, LPO, to store the file. Then, press F8, for sales. Select the customer name, account head, and amount. Type yes, on attached document field. Copy and paste the document path. Select the file. And save the voucher. To check the attached document, go to the customer ledger account. Select the voucher. And press show document. Then hit enter to see the attached file. Let's pass a receipt voucher now. This time, we'll attach customer statement of account, in Excel format. Press F6, for receipt. Select the customer, and amount. Attach document, type yes. Copy and paste the folder path. Select the file and save it. Let's check the attached file. Go to the customer ledger account. Select the voucher. And press show document. Then hit enter, to see the file. Now, we'll pass a journal voucher. Like before, create a folder to store the file. Press F7, for journal. Select the account heads, and amount. Attach document yes. Copy and paste, the folder path. Select the file. And save it. To check the document, go to the ledger account. Select the voucher. And press, show document. Then hit enter. To see the document. If you want to check all the attached documents, go to DMS. Select DMS report. Select display voucher documents. Here you can see all the documents list and if you want to open it, simply select the line and hit enter. This way, we can attach documents in any file formats, with all the vouchers, in Tally Prime. If you want to purchase this TDL, contact us, the contact details are in the description below.
This is the end of our today's video. In our next video we'll show you, how to upload, non-accounting documents, like tenancy contracts, license copy, insurance copy etc. And employee related documents, like passport copy, visa copy, Emirates ID etc. Hope this video is helpful to you. If you like this video, please hit the like button, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.